Today we're going to learn how to use the chocolate fountain. Once you get to your location, you're going to want to set it on a nice level table so when the chocolate starts pumping, it'll flow evenly over each of the cylinders here. We'll plug it into our outlet first. You will then turn the heat switch on, leave the auger off for now, and you'll turn the dial on at most, the highest you ever go is 170 degrees. We'll, we'll start it for 170. You're going to be kind of maintaining between 170 and no lower than 150 degrees, somewhere right in between once the machine's uh, warmed up. As the machine is preheating to the 170 degrees, we'll start prepping the chocolate for the machine. Uh, four bags will come with the machine. You do have to use this melting chocolate. You can't buy other brands of different types of chocolate. You must use our brand with the machine for, the, for it to work uh, properly. Um, one bag is gonna take about two minutes in the microwave. It's gonna be your quickest prep time. You can at, put the melting chocolate directly into the machine, but you're looking at about a half an hour to an hour prep time for that chocolate to melt that way. So you have a couple different options on how you wanna do it. I pulled the, the bag of chocolate out of the microwave. I did one minute first, massaged the bag a little bit, put it back in for another minute, and now it's pretty much ready to go to put in the machine. The machine is preheated and ready to go. So we'll start adding chocolate. As you add the chocolate, it might still be a little clumpy, so you will have to kind of mix it in a little bit with a non-abrasive spatula, preferably like a silicone one, and you'll just kind of stir it up a little bit as it continues to melt down. Now that the chocolate is melted, we're going to turn the motor switch on, which is going to pump the chocolate through the cylinder and spill over the three tiers and be close to being ready to serve. Now that you can see the chocolate is fully melted, the machine's working to its efficiency here, it's pretty much ready to serve now. Um, you will have to keep an eye as people are dipping chocolate in there, you're gonna have to add a bag and, and maintain a minimum level in there for the machine to, to function properly. If you ever have any gaps at all, sometimes it just might be having to adjust these leveling feet to a nice, even um, position. And let's try it out. Put it in like that. Turn the motor off and let the chocolate just grab, uh, gradually descend back into the bowl. And as that's doing that, we're going to use a spatula and we're just going to scrape any of the excess chocolate off these tiers. Now that the machine motor is off, we're going to turn the heat off now since all the chocolate is off the tiers. At this point in time, the chocolate's still going to be really warm in here, but we're going to pour it in a bucket or you can put it in some kind of a reusable bag and use at your own discretion because the chocolate still will be good. Or you can just discard it. Plug the unit. And just be mindful that uh, right at the rim of the bowl is going to be your hottest point. So if you grab towards the bottom here and then be able to pour it. Get any excess chocolate out of the main bowl when the unit's nice and cool. We'll place it back in the bag that we provided. And we'll basically tie a knot. At the top. Like that, there'll be a crate. Just put the crate, uh, the unit back inside the crate we provide with the cord outside of the bag, please. And bring it back to our shop. We will clean the rest of it and test it after every use. 